Bratislava is the capital of Slovakia, located in mid-Europe on Danube River. We have very nice weather conditions and uh, for ages that was really like a paradise. Greater Manchester is what we call the northern capital of the UK. We tend to get quite a lot of rain because the clouds come in off the sea and hit the hills that surround Manchester. Extreme weather events and particularly their impact on potential floods is one of our climate change risks for the future. Boxing Day floods two years ago, where in the space of 24 hours we had several months worth almost of rainfall. Bratislava faces these uh, ex uh, extreme changes of weather as all Europe. Heat waves, increasing number of period of droughts. Those extreme high temperatures are really now starting in May, not in August. We're planning for an increased number of people who will live in the city. But at the same time, we're starting to build into that plan contingencies for future climate change. What was uh, good enough in the past and maybe 10 years ago, it's not enough uh, for the future. If you have been asked to make your city climate resilient and you're wondering where to start, the Resin Project is the place to start. The Resin Project is an international project that consists of research partners as well as practitioners from different cities all over Europe. All the tools will be online, so it's like a project management front end to the, the steps of making your city climate resilient. I'm going to log on, I'm going to start an adaptation planning process, I'm going to put all my risks in, it's going to help me do my stakeholder engagement and then eventually I'll have an action plan and I'll implement it and it'll even tell me how I can monitor and make sure that I'm doing right. The resin tools are mostly aimed for people working in municipalities but also practitioners working in different professions such as architects, the water management sector, city boroughs and city districts, so different levels of city administration. You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can use these tools because uh, you can be sure that they have been tested and they have the best current knowledge available from different Europe's research institutions and academic partners and cities that deal with problems just like your city probably is dealing with. As a climate resilience officer, the resin tools definitely make my job easier. The decision makers in Greater Manchester need to know key issues and why they should do something about it and I genuinely think that already it's making it easier for us to have those conversations. I think one of the strengths of the Resin Project is that it brings together cities that might not have exactly the same issue of climate change adaptation to deal with, but they have to deal with the same processes to understand how they can plan for change and how they can deliver change. We would use the resin tools to look at different options, to assess what, what's possible. It's going to uh, start a conversation and I think that's the most important that you have the conversation. We seem to tackle all the same things and um, you can always learn from each other. This cooperation uh, really is perfect. We are not here only for people of our cities, but maybe also somebody uh, takes our ideas and so. Every job within a local authority will be impacted by climate change in the future. Every decision that's made will need to take account of what the future climate change risks might be. I hope in five or ten years' time we wouldn't have to be referring to these things as the resin tools. I would hope that the products that we're creating become second nature, that we would never see another piece of sealed surface or glass building and we see the flood water coming off it or people overheating and no green space outside and we think wouldn't it have been good if at that point when we built that and paid for that we'd done this. If resin could have moved us along that road then that would be an amazing achievement. Mm -hmm.